hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start working on our player ui in the player ui first of all we will be adding the player health bar for the player health bar i am using this package which is which is by the name of simple free pixel art style ui pack this is the creator name it is a free asset available on the unity asset store okay so go ahead and add this to your assets then click on open in unity then open unity editor it will open up the package manager window then just simply download it and then click on import and again click on import once it is imported it will show this error so just clear it out and this is the folder okay what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna drag and drop it in the game and also let's drag and drop this sound package as well in the game okay so now in here you will find the prefabs then click on half underscore color underscore customizable folder click on square and in here you will find these scroll bars okay you can either use the health bars or the scroll bars so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change to 2d mode and then right here in the hierarchy what we're gonna do is we will create a canvas so UI then canvas change the canvas UI scale mode to scale with screen size okay and right here let's type 19 20 and 1080 okay double click on the canvas now here it is what we're gonna do now in here is we will add our health bar so if you click on health bar these are all of the health bar so if you select all of them and drag and drop them in there as you can see here these are the health bars okay so we need a health bar from the right side to the left side so i think it's this rl let me delete the other one if i show you right here okay this will be our health bar okay and if our player health is 100 it will be 100 like this and whenever the player takes damage we will increase this value okay so this will be the health bar which we will be using but we need to resize this health bar as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on prefab unpack completely then let me click on the game view so that we can see it right here as you can see let's select top left side so there it is turn on gizmo so that you can see the whole canvas borders okay then let's move it forward a little bit and then a little bit down right there after this select it again and let's click on this rec tool and let's resize it so i'm going to move it down right like this and change the width as well if you check it out right here okay this is the health bar so now make the width as 800 and the height will be 100 okay as you can see this is our health bar now so let's click on top center again and move it forward a little bit okay this is the health bar of the player now if you want you can change the color of it as well for example you can change the fill color to green if you want all right now if you click on health bar again let's resize it i mean change the value like this so as you can see it looks really good now so once you add it for the player like this then what i want you to do is to click on it and change it to player health bar okay then we need to add a health bar for our opponent as well now so for the opponent we will be needing a health bar which will go from the left side to the right side okay so if we select this health bar what are its name it is tb then this is from right to left right to left 
this is pt i don't know let me add this one okay so we need this this one now okay all right so this is the health bar which we'll be using for the opponent it is by the name of health bar underscore rl1 click on prefab click on unpack completely name this as opponent health bar okay we can now move it to the right top okay then its width is at 800 and height is 100 so make this 800 and 100 again select top uh, right top again and we just need to move it a little bit forward like this okay right here uh, uh, on the player health bar the position x is 440 so right here it should be minus 440 okay and in this way they will be equal now as you can see and the reason i have make this uh, canvas scale or scale with screen size now no matter whatever the screen size it is the help are gonna resize with the screen size as you can see if it is really small or really big okay and if you double click on it now as you can see the help bar is scaling with the screen size all right so make sure that you don't skip this step now if the uh, opponent health bar is 100 then the value will be like this 100 and whenever the opponent takes damage the health will go in this way like this okay so our health bar are now completed so what we're gonna do now is to create a script for it go inside scripts folder and then create a new folder by the name of UI and inside the UI folder create a c-sharp script by the name of health bar then click on player health bar opponent health bar select both of them and drag and drop this script now let's open this up and on this script what we're gonna do we're gonna first of all at the top say using unity engine dot ui then in here we will be adding a reference to the slider so we're gonna name it as health bar slider then right down below we will create a method by the name of give full health this will be of type load okay the parameter of this method then we will say health bar slider dot maximum value will be equals to the health parameter and the health bar slider dot value will be equals to health okay then copy this method paste it down below this time let's name this as set health it will require a parameter as well and in this we will just remove the first line that's it so now if we get back right here and click on player health bar drag and drop the slider in there then click on opponent health bar and drag and drop the slider in there okay now let me select the player health bar okay and let me tell you how this will work now okay let me make the maximum value one again and the same for the opponent as well and let's move this back to zero all right so as you know that we have added this slider right here and then what we are doing is as you know that right here we have this maximum value and then this value right here and if you see the method right here we are providing the health value to the maximum value and the value in the give full health method and in the set health we are just providing the health value to the slider value all right so what we're gonna do is uh, from our fighting controller and also from our opponent ai script we will pass a value to this give full health method okay and that value will be the 
player health and the opponent health so if it is 100 then 100 will be passed to maximum value and also the value so then whenever the game start the maximum value will be 100 and the value will be 100 like this and the slider will be shown full like this okay and then whenever the player or the opponent takes damage we will call this set health and in this set health it also requires a parameter health so to this health we will provide the current health of the player okay so then if the current health of the player is for example 95 then as you know that maximum will be 100 and value will be 100 as well so when we pass a value to it then it if that value is 95 it will be shown as 95 like this okay and then in this way the player health will decrease okay it will make more sense when we now do this so first of all let's give uh, health to our player for that open up the fighting controller script and right here in the health we will be needing to add a reference to the health bar script okay name this as health bar as well then when the game start what we're gonna do we will call the health bar script and for the health bar script we will call the give full health method and as you know that give full health method requires a parameter of type float so to this we're gonna pass the current health because as you know that when the game start the current health stores the value of the maximum health so maximum health is 100 and then current health will be 100 and then we pass current health to the give full health method on this script so 100 will be passed to health and then 100 will be applied to the maximum value and the value of the slider all right now whenever the player takes damage we need to decrease the player health so for that what we're going to do in the player hit damage animation method right here when the health decreases okay what we're going to do we're going to this time call the set health method from the health bar script and to that we will pass current health so now if current health is 95 then 95 will be passed to this and we will just decrease the value okay not the maximum value but just the value so the slider will be then slide down a little bit according to the current health okay now let's do the same for our opponent as well so on the opponent right here we're gonna do the same thing as we did right here so just copy it from here and paste it right there then in the awake we provide the full health so right here in the awake right after we set the current health paste this line okay then we can scroll down and copy this line as well then click on opponent AI scroll down and right here paste it that's it so if we now open up the player characters as you know that all of them now needs the health bar script so let me select all of the player characters and in the health bar I'm gonna drag and drop the player health bar okay and it will automatically select the health bar script then we can do the same for the opponent select both of the opponent or how many opponents you have select all of them and drag and drop the opponent health bar okay make sure that you drag and drop the opponent health bar in the opponents and player health bar in the player okay don't mix this up and now as you know that currently our king is active and the lee is active so now when the game starts you will notice the player health bar maximum value and value will be changed and the same for the opponent okay so let's select the player start the game you will notice it will be changed and you can also notice in the ui as well and right here it is changed to 100 so now if you take damage as you can see the value is now just decreasing and also the health bar is decreasing right there as well and now if we try to damage the opponent as you can see the opponent health decreases as well okay so now the health bar works perfectly fine and in the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a 
result manager in which we will show the result for example if the player health becomes zero first then we will say you lose and we will give an option to go back to the main menu to start another stage and if the opponent health becomes zero first then we will say you win and give an option to go back to the main menu okay so for that see you guys in the next one